Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are trying out RuPaul's makeup. Didn't even know this was a thing until the other day. Uh, RuPaul has his own makeup line. I know they collaborated with, was it like Ciate? I feel like they, am I imagining that? I feel like they collaborated with Ciate, but apparently they have their own makeup line. So this is the Give Your All, the ultimate get the look collection. And there's quite a few bits inside. We have an eyeshadow palette, lipstick, lip liner, highlighter, liquid eyeliner, and liquid eyeshadow, and a matte lip, which is why I'm looking all beige out right now. So we can just get straight on into this. And if you're new here, while I'm opening up this lovely little pink box, if you're new here, hit subscribe. It's free, takes two seconds, and I appreciate it very much. Like this video, comment, just, just chat shit in the comments. I mean, I chat shit in my videos, so just do it in the comments as well. So this is what the box looks like. Packaging is pretty simple, quite sleek. It's very like handbag friendly and it looks pretty cute. What is this? I thought this was like a little like badge then. Give your all. Got a little mirror in there. What is this? There's another little package in here. Oh, I'm gonna put that on my car keys. You're a star, baby. Cute. I'm gonna start off with the Who Is She highlighter duo. Uh, oh, okay, this looks nice. That color looks like a bit of me. Let's give these a little swatch. Okay, they don't feel too bad. They feel a little bit dry. Ooh, that one though, that one right there on my middle finger, that one looks great. Oh, wait, that might have to be the one that goes on my face. Okay, they look nice. Let's try it. I'm gonna take a little bit of talent first. Hopefully it won't be too dark for me, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Let's pop this on. So it got a cast. No, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's shiny. It's very shiny, which I like. I feel like it looks a tiny bit textured on the skin. Let's go in with a bit of charisma right on the top. Right there. I, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's safe to say that I'm like the highlighter connoisseur at this point. Um, and it does look good. I don't know if you guys can see in the macro, but I feel like it looks a little bit more textured than some of my more favorite highlighters but I am just being very, very picky right now. Like just around here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the macro. It looks nice though, like on camera, the way it's reflecting, the color, this looks, this looks pretty good. I'll show you guys on the macro again on this side. It's got like a touch of glitter in there. My skin is so dry right now, like around my nose. I hate the winter. My nose is just like crusting and falling off. Yeah, it has got some shimmer particles in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, like they're a little bit more chunky. On camera, I think it looks really good, but in person it does look just a little bit more glittery than I would maybe go for, but I'm still really happy because I just love a highlighter. Like if I ever don't love a highlighter, you know it's probably gonna be terrible. But yeah, I like how it looks on camera. I feel like this would be a really good body highlighter. Nose, I'm just gonna mix the two together for my brow bone. That looks good. I don't mind a glittery highlighter when it's on my eyes, but sometimes when it's on my face, I just feel like it looks a little bit much. But no, it looks really, really good on my brow bone. Yeah, you guys can see maybe a little bit more of the texture here. If we like really zoom in there, you can see there are more glitter particles, but I'm still liking it. I, st I still think it's good. I'm st I'll still happily shovel it all over my face. Okay, what next? Let's just go in with the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this is the All About Me eyeshadow palette. Uh, after like, the packaging, watching Drag Race, knowing Drag Race. Am I the only one that was kind of expecting a little bit more out of the eyeshadow palette? Like, yes, neutrals are great. I feel like most palettes need like some kind of neutral, but the wildest color we have here is like a shimmery burgundy. I thought I was gonna be there doing like full drag makeup, but I guess I'm guess I'm doing a natural look today, Hans. So I know I wanna do something with this gold liquid eyeshadow, so I wanna make sure that I do something that kind of works with that. Just gonna shove my brush in and see where we go. So I've got a bit of my P. Louise base on my lids already. I'm gonna go in with the shade Validation first. It's like just a neutral matte color. I feel like maybe I should do a RuPaul kind of look. What do you guys think? Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna copy what's on the packaging here. It's just a little shimmery cut crease moment with some warm tones in the crease. So I'm gonna bring that up into my brow bone a little bit more. That's working fine so far. And I'm now gonna go in with the shade Tiger Eye. I'm just using the same brush because they're fairly similar colors. And I'm gonna run that even more so into my crease. Okay. So far so good, no real issues here. 
I'm now gonna take a bit of Snatched, and again, on the same brush, I'm just using these to basically build up a bit of structure on my eye. And I'm just gonna plonk that on my outer corner because I'm gonna do a little cut crease over the top of that in a second. So I'm just laying that down first. Not bad. I feel like this bit is looking a little bit patchy, like this tiny bit here. Might just be my crusty, dusty face right now because like I said, my skin is so dry at the moment, but I'll keep an eye on that. Get it? Eye, eye shadow. <laughs> my body was like, that's a terrible joke, Steph. Don't even make it. And it made me cough so that I didn't. But you all knew where I was going with that. Great joke, right? Everyone loves a dad joke. I'm then gonna run a little bit of Tiger Tea and Snatched on my lower lash line. It's a bit more of a warm tone going on here underneath. Just winging that out right now. So I'm now gonna do a little bit of a cut crease situation. It's not like a full on cut crease, but I am just gonna add quite a bit of shimmer to my lids. I'm very curious about the shimmers with this. So I'm going back in with some more P. Louise. I normally do my cut crease like a little bit lower. I just got that on my nose then. I normally do my cut crease a little bit lower down. I kind of meet it back into the inner corner of my eye, but I'm gonna kind of copy what they've done here because theirs is a little bit more extreme. I'm just gonna lightly blend that out with my finger. Okay. I never do a cut crease like this, but looking in the viewfinder, Kind of into it, what do you guys think? I normally just go like right down to here, but I've gone like more so into my inner corner. I'm now gonna go in with the shade I live, I think, and put that more so in the center of my lids. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, it's a little bit crumbly though. So just make sure you tap your brush off. I'm actually very, very curious to see how much all of this is. Let's see. Okay, so the whole set that I have is 25 pounds, which I think is pretty good actually. I literally had no idea whether this was gonna be like 30 pounds for a palette, 10 pounds for a palette. So yeah, for the price, this is actually looking pretty good. I'm now gonna go in with the shade Amen because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna learn to love somebody else? Can I get an Amen up in here? Thank you. And using a pencil brush, I'm gonna tap that all over my inner corner. I feel like that shade's almost a little bit more grey than I was expecting it to be. They're quite flaky. Like, let me just show you guys in the macro here if you can see that. Can you see they're quite flaky? Oh, but I'm just like knocking it all off here. Just wanna get right up to that cut crease line. Oh, that just looks a bit wrinkly here. Can you guys see that there? I don't want wrinkles. Like my Inner corners, low-key kind of resembling a bit of a ball bag right now. I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that one. Like when it's like more blended out, like how I did with this more bronzy shade, it looks all right. When you are really, really concentrating it, it just looks a bit ball baggy. Hmm. And there's a bit of fallout on my inner corner as well. Yeah, look. You see, it just looks ball baggy. I have balls on my eyes, not again. Is this the first time I've had testicles on my eyes? <laughs> You'll never know. But I don't like it, not into it. Huh, just dusting off my eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go in with the highlighter palette again. I'm gonna pop the shade Charisma on my inner corner. Like, I feel like this actually acts as a better eyeshadow than the shade Amen. Amen, Amen, I don't know. Like, I feel like this is actually better than the eyeshadow itself. Yeah, don't think I like that eyeshadow. Let's try and unball bag my eye right now with this liquid eyeshadow. So this is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Rocket. Let's have a little swatch here. Oh, bit bit clumpy there. Maybe that's just the first dollop. Let's try it again. Mmm, that looks a lot better because I literally like smeared the dollop all over my hand there, but an actual swatch. I'll show you guys more close up. It's not the best doe fit in the world, so it actually does look, and it actually does look kind of crap, to be honest, look at this. It's just, it almost looks like a liquid highlighter, but just like chunks of glitter. The doe foot kind of goes inwards a little bit. It's like a slightly weird shape for a doe foot to put on your eyes. I'm gonna go over the top of what I did with the shimmer. Okay, it's more pigmented now. Okay, that's a bit better than the shimmer that I had on underneath. Kind of helped me fill in some of the wrinkles a little bit. I'm now no longer like a wrinkly ball bag. I'm more of like a 
cold ball bag. Why am I talking about ball bags on a makeup video? I don't, I, I don't know how this is my job sometimes. Now we're gonna go in with the liquid liner. So I think this is, yeah, it's just like a felt tip liner. And, oh, that seems pretty black. Feels like it'll be quite easy to use. So I'm gonna do a pretty intense wing, I think. Again, kind of copying what's going on here. I'm not gonna do the lower lash line because it makes my eyes look freaking weird, but I am gonna do a pretty thick liner and then wing it out a bit. Let's see. Okay, it's got quite a fine tip, which is good. Oh, this is quite nice. It's super black. Oh, I'm really enjoying that liner. That is so black and really easy to use. It's not like getting caught up in the little flakes either, because sometimes you can go over like a liquid eyeshadow or a shimmery eyeshadow and it can really clog up the pen, whereas this one, it's going over perfectly. This is good. I might do a little more with that in a minute. I might do something a bit more graphic, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. And now we're gonna move on to the lips. But yeah, really like this. Big fan of that. Okay, so for my lips, I have three different products. So I think first of all, I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick because I feel like I'm probably gonna wanna use the actual lipstick more. So we'll try this out and then we'll try out the lip liner and then the actual lipstick. So this is called the Matte Lip in Pretty Pretty. And again, they're all nudes by the looks of things. I mean, great if you just like starting out with makeup or you do just want a full kit that is just all nudes. But I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like there should be something a little bit more draggy. Oh, they smell good. It's like a very, very subtle smell, but they smell just like sweets. Oh my God. That is nude nude. Mm, it's a little bit sheerer than I would like. Mm, I feel like if I had a deeper lip liner, I wouldn't mind the color, but I don't tend to use lip liners with liquid lipsticks. You know what I will say with something like this though? Even though so far I'm not like head over heels in love with all the products, for like 25 quid, if you've got someone in your family that's maybe like a teenager or something like that, or just someone that's like starting out with makeup and they love Drag Race or just RuPaul in general, then I think the gift box would make a good Christmas gift. Maybe not for someone that like loves makeup, has a ton of makeup, but for someone that maybe just likes to play around with products, wants just like a standard eyeshadow palette, just does like, general, like everyday kind of makeup. It could be a nice little Christmas gift. I'm like putting quite a few layers on, but if we zoom in on this right now, zoom, 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 zoom. You can see that it's just like, it's not completely opaque. Yeah, look at that. Don't really like that. It's like, it feels quite dry on my lips. It feels quite heavy on my lips, but it's also not fully opaque. Like sometimes if a lipstick is completely opaque, I can kind of deal with it being a little bit more drying, but like this doesn't even look that good and it doesn't feel that great on my lips. Like I I probably wouldn't use this again, to be honest, because it is just a bit like, it's just not quite cutting it. All right, so now we're gonna give this lip liner a try. This is in the shade Gang Gang, and you guys know, like when I find a good liner pencil, I get very, very excited. So I'm hoping this is good. It's like the bang on color that I love at the moment, like a nice kind of neutral, almost cool tone pinky color. Oh, that is the kind of color I am loving at the moment. Like I've traded in all of my nude lip liners for more of like a pinky nude and I love it. So the color's good. It's pigmented. Yes, yes, yes. Very creamy. I'm gonna fill in my lips to see what it looks like. It's a bit lighter on my lips than I thought it was gonna be, but I still really like the color. I'm liking this. Okay, this is good. That's a nice color. It's a little bit lighter and almost a bit more peachy than the normal colors I tend to go for at the moment, but I do really, really like it. I'm gonna keep an eye out for more of these lip liners because if they have other colors, I'm gonna be snapping those up. I really, really like that. So now let's try out this lipstick here. It kind of gives me like YSL vibes. Do you guys know what I mean? Like imagine the little YSL logo there. Very YSL. And this shade is called Powder Owl and it looks like a matching color for the lipstick. We'll do a little swatch next to it there. Okay. It's a little bit dry, but that's the kind of color there. So it goes pretty well with the lipstick. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bang on for the lip liner. It does take a second to warm up, but now it has warmed up. It's going on quite nicely, but you're probably not gonna be able to see much because it literally looks the same as the lip liner. That is all right. I wouldn't necessarily say it's like, oh my God, what an amazing lipstick, but it's nice enough. Matches the lip liner as well. Um, okay. 
I'm feeling pretty good about this makeup. I'm gonna go pop on some lashes and some mascara. Might chuck on a little bit of blush and then I'll show you guys the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I'll be totally honest, I was really excited about opening that box up, chucking it on my face, but the end result is fine. I'm not being very convincing with that, am I? It's just like, I was kind of expecting more. Like I like the lip products, I love the liner, the eyeshadow palette was okay, but I don't know. I feel like the color selection that they chose could have been a little bit better, like I get it. They're going for more of like a natural kind of get the look situation, but still, even like natural drag makeup isn't the most natural thing in the world. And I feel like I tried to do something a little bit more out there, but it's just kind of like a standard shimmery, smoky, wing liner look. There's only so much I could really do with this. I would say that I think the actual gift set as a whole for 25 quid, it could make a good Christmas present or like a gift to someone that maybe isn't like super invested in makeup, that loves Drag Race, that loves RuPaul and just wants to, I don't know, play around with some products. Don't get me wrong, you can definitely get like a nice natural look out of this. I feel like a lot of these colors people would use most days, but I don't know. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more and I just feel like it's fine, which isn't the most positive review ever. If like, if this was on TripAdvisor, I would probably give it like a three, three stars. I think the products that I'd probably reach for again is definitely the liquid liner. Like this was like the star of the show for me, which is weird because normally I'm not too fussed on liners, but this was really, really good. I really like the lip liner formula as well. And the lipstick was all right. Again though, it's not something I'm like, wow, this is the best lipstick in the world, but it was nice enough. So those are the products I would probably recommend. Or maybe the highlighter. The highlighter was all right. It's just a little bit more chunky than my usual go-to. But like the liquid eyeshadow was a bit meh. The eyeshadow palette, you can kind of get these sort of neutrals anywhere at this point. And I don't know, I just feel like some of these shadows just weren't it. So let me know, that remix. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look and all the products that I tried out today. Will you be buying it? Are you excited by it? Or are you kind of like me and you're just sort of like, that's, that's nice enough, next. As always, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, or if you just, I don't know, if it was just fun to waste time with me, then uh, please give this video a big thumbs up because it does really, really help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload. Say it with me all the damn time. But apart from that, guys, that is it from me. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.